everybody. Week 42 of the Race 50K is over and we made $389, bringing us to a grand total of $45,772. Woo! So it was a really small week, as you can see, by the $389 total. But that's totally fine because we made a lot of progress. I set up a lot of things. I have like five, four or five different streams of income that's gonna come in in the next week or the week after. There's some good stuff that's gonna happen in week 43, so don't you worry a little bit about this, cause I'm not. And I'll tell you why. So week 42 was a very okay week. I don't wanna say mediocre, cause it was still really awesome and I did a lot of cool things and we had an awesome football the other day. My fantasy teams killed it. But yeah, okay, we're talking about the race to 50k, we're not talking about fantasy football, the best thing ever in the whole entire world. But let's get back to the race to 50k. So week 42 started off on the sweetest note ever. I got an $11 donation from my five-month-old niece, Nakani Maluhia Ikahakai Pro Kamahele Dias. Say that 10 times fast. But anyway, so I ended my week on Sunday the other week, and then in the morning on Monday of week 42, I got a Venmo donation from my sister-in-law saying that my little niece wanted to give me $11 for the race 50k so I wouldn't end the day on a zero. So that was super sweet, got $11 from that. Tuesday, sold some stickers, got $5 from that. Then I also had a really, really random cool job helping out this girl, Claire. And the story behind this is super cool. So I met Claire in December when I went to visit their house for lunch. And I met Claire through her mom and I met her mom in Madagascar when I was serving in the Peace Corps. So I worked with a community health organization called Mahefa Miataka, which is implemented by this organization called JSI. And JSI is based out of Boston. And this lady, Elaine, works for JSI, but she works out of Hawaii. So, if you're still following, we met in Madagascar when I extended for my third year. And, you know, she found out I'm from Hawaii and she lives there. So when I finished my Peace Corps service back in October, I went to visit her. Yeah, at her house here on Oahu and we had lunch, I met her daughters, her husband and I told him about the race to 50k before I started. So I guess eventually like 10 months later her daughter reached out to me on Facebook saying hey my name's Claire, I met you through my mom back in December, I've been following your journey and she finally had a job for me. So the job was to meet her and help her unload a washer and dryer at her new place that she was moving into. So I did that job, helped Claire, got $40 from that, so mahalo nui to Claire and aloha elaine if you're watching this crazy story right this world is so small and i feel like the more of the world you see the smaller it gets so wednesday was a zero dollar day and i've been having some zero dollar days because you know it's covid and sometimes like i can't do anything but wednesday was kind of a mix up of plans i thought i was going to be doing something with hawaii first so i had a potential job that day which i said i couldn't do the day before because I thought I had something, so I ended up not having anything to do for the entire day. So that was unfortunate, but you know, I, I just stayed home and did some work, you know, planned some stuff out. So I'm always doing something even though I'm not like doing something that makes sense. So that's why I always say, even when I'm not working, I'm always working. But things picked up on Thursday when I was able to do three different jobs. So I did a lot of pickups and delivery on Thursday and it was super fun because I met this lady, Jamie, and gave her this TV and vanity set that somebody donated to me and I got $40 from that and then after I went to pick up some stuff to ship out for my friend Jared I did that so I shipped out the things and it was perfect because I had to pick up somebody at the airport for my next job so I picked up this girl Kalina from the airport because she just got back from California and you know she took the COVID test and everything but she wanted me to be super safe and she wanted me to use a truck so she could sit in the back so that's what I did all right here at the airport just picked up Kalina Got our suitcases, gonna sit in the back of the truck and go and pick up your car, right? Whew. I borrowed my neighbor's truck, Mahalo Davin. Well, he's not over here, but he's usually over there when I'm recording. So I used his truck, picked up Kalina, took her to her car because that she got shipped from California to Hawaii. And then I got $100 from that, so Mahalo Nui Kalina. Then on Friday, it was a super, super exciting day because I filmed at Subaru Hawaii. That's where those sunglasses I was wearing early on in this video was from. I filmed at Subaru Hawaii and Carissa Moore, four-time world champion, Carissa Moore. Let's do one more round. Ahead. 
besides. <laughs> we went to this place at the Hamakua Marsh in Kailua. It's called Healthy Climate Communities and we planted some trees, learned about their organization and we did some fun filming for Subaru Hawaii and then we had some awesome lunch after. But it was super cool getting to meet a world champion. She's an Olympian, you know, she's going to be in the Olympics next year. So being able to meet her and somebody that's done so much for Hawaii and is such a prominent figure in our community. It was really cool and she's so sweet. So I'm just blown away by the opportunities that have come up through this journey of mine called the Race 50K. So I didn't get any money on that, but I will be getting $300 for doing that. Uh, eventually, they have to send the check and then I have to go deposit it. So yeah, potential $300. So Saturday was the last job of the day and I ended up doing a lot of driving that day. So my brother called me Saturday morning saying he needed a ride to the airport and of course I went to grab him and I didn't expect him to give me money, but he gave me money as for an Uber driver, which is really funny. So $25 for my brother Michael Ani Diaz, mahalo. And then that day, my neighbor's cousin wanted me to do a job for them. They needed help dumping a bunch of stuff at their house, but they don't have a truck. So I, again, I called in the services of my awesome neighbor, Davin. He was really the MVP of this week because majority of the funds I made this week was because I was able to use his truck. So we went to the dump back and forth like three times. He helped me load it, unload it. So it was a fun day, a lot of driving. We talked a lot about fantasy football and stuff like that. So yeah, it was a very slow week, I would say, but still, still really good. Yeah, so we ended up with $389, which is still really good. And it's better than $0, so I'm happy. I'm staying positive. We're under $8,000, which is still really awesome. We're still ahead of schedule. I got some shirts I'm gonna sell soon. Hopefully I can finish my book, sell that. So there have a lot of forms of income that will come. It's just things take time, you know? One quote that I really like is patience with results and impatience with actions. So I'm always doing things, always putting things into motion. And sometimes you just have to wait for the results, which is fine because I am patient. And with the race to 50K, you know, there's a timeline where I have to pay off my student loans in one year. But that's still a long time, you know, I still have time to be patient. I don't have to panic just yet because I'm still ahead of schedule. Thanks to you watching this, to everybody supporting me. So it's, it's really, really awesome. So anyways, I got to get going. Usually I split my editing days into a little bit on Monday, a little bit on Tuesday. But Tuesday I have a job all day and a far drive. So I won't have time to do any editing on Tuesday. So I gotta finish all of this today as I'm doing this so that you can watch it today as Tuesday. So my today was Monday, your today is Tuesday. All right, that's all I got for this week. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy, love one another, be kind. Koko aku, koko mai, help me help you. And I'll see you next week in week 43, which should be a big week. I'm calling it right now. So if I'm wrong, then I guess it's all documented, but if I'm right, it is also documented. All right, I'll see you next week. Ahoy ho, kako. Good?